So this is the RL circuit in which the resistive load and inductive load are connected in series as shown in the diagram, circuit diagram. So as I have told you in the previous lecture that there are few types of representations. We can either use the instantaneous values for the voltage source. If we are using this V so that it is representing the Vm sin omega t, then the current which is passing on to the circuit will also be small i or the instantaneous current. Okay, but if we are using the capital letter, it means that we are using the RMS value. So the current shown will also be the capital and RMS. Okay. And the drops which are across the resistance and inductance. Okay. Are you resistive load and inductive load? It is shown as VR and VL. Okay. So these are also the instantaneous values. So in the laser diagram, which was explained for pure inductive circuit, we have seen that the current was lagging the resistance by 90 degrees. Okay. But here, in addition to inductive load, there is also a resistive load. Okay. So resistive load is in phase with the current and voltages are in phase. If we are using the pure resistive load. So if we are using both these loads, RL load, then the current phaser will be lagging the voltage phaser by say any phi angle. Okay. So this phi angle will be more than zero degrees or you can say more than that of the resistive load and less than 90 degrees which is applicable for the pure inductive load. Okay. So, since the voltages are vector quantity, so we have to draw this phasor diagram accordingly. So, here we have shown this VR. So it is in the same phaser as current, okay? So VR is IR. So if the value of the R is more than one, then we have to show this VR vector more than the I. But if we assume that this R is less than one, then it is shown, VR is shown here. And if we assume that the R is one, then it will synchronize with this point. Okay. So we are taking the general case. VR is placed here. So VL is here. So this is the VL component. And since the voltage drop across the pure inductance, 
is 90 degrees leading with the current so it is shown in the positive y axis okay so using the parallelogram of vector addition this vl and this vr is this and this is the v which is the resultant resultant component of the circuit or the voltage okay so if we represent vectorly we can say that vr vector plus vl vector is equal to v vector okay and if we want to take the magnitude value then what we do we put this sign here and again mod here square square okay so which is shown here as well vr square plus vl square and vr is replaced by ir and vl is replaced by ixl current is taken out and r square plus xl square is the impedance in the circuit so which can be drawn in the impedance triangle this is the resistive component this is the inductive reactance this is the impedance okay so from this diagram also right angle triangle r square plus xl square is equal to z square it is used here okay so when we have just talked about the vector arrangement of the voltages so when it is depicted as a triangle it is known as voltage triangle as shown here okay so now we will move further so this is the angle phi and it can be this angle can be calculated in terms of the tangent okay so here we have seen that the current component is lagging the voltage component by phi angle so if v is the instantaneous voltage vm sin omega t then the current will be im sin omega t minus phi and power factor will be r upon z okay so that r upon z can be calculated from this impedance triangle okay. now we will focus on the waveform so when we are required to draw the waveform which represents the instantaneous quantities of power current and voltage what we are required to do we are required to firstly draw the sine wave which corresponds to the instantaneous voltage okay now we are required to draw the current waveform so current is lagging by phi angle okay so it will begin its journey when there is passage of phi angle okay so here it will start so zero axis is the reference axis so 
in the voltage curve it means it meets the zero axis at pi so current will meet at pi plus pi similarly it will end at 2 pi plus pi okay so at every point it will lag the voltage axis by phi angle okay again as a part of revision i am telling you that the these waveform represents the lagging and the leading structure of the sinusoidal quantities but it does not give information regarding the amplitude or the magnitude of the quantities okay so the current shown here is having less magnitude than the voltage but in it can be more than that it can be same as the voltage waveform or it can be more than that but we are here we are focused more on the zero crossing of the current so if the magnitude is more it can also be like this it is also good enough okay so we should keep this in mind now we talk of the instantaneous power so the instantaneous power is the multiplication of instantaneous voltage and instantaneous current so it becomes vm sin omega t im sin omega t minus phi vm and im are clubbed together 2 is multiplied and divided so it becomes the formula of 2 sin a sin b okay so when we disintegrate this 2 sin a sin b what it becomes cos a minus b okay minus cos a plus b so this is here so we are having these two components so first is the component which is having this sinusoidal quantity omega t is there so now if we are going to take the average value of the rl circuit it becomes vm cos phi because it is the constant quantity and the average value of the sinusoidal quantity for full cycle is zero so it disappears okay so this vm by 2 and im by 2 can be represented as vm by root 2 im by root 2 cos phi and this vm by root 2 and im by root 2 can be written as vm vrms irms cos phi okay so okay so we can also represent the power as power triangle in which the hypotenuse is our apparent power and base is our true power and perpendicular is our reactive power so it is represented as va what and var but if the magnitude is more then it is kva kilowatt and kva r okay 
we have to focus on the representation part k will be small as we have mentioned in the lab as well and rest of the letters are in capital okay apparent power is denoted by s reactive power by q and true power by p okay so this is again a right angle triangle so it can be represented using pythagoras theorem so this current component can also be written as this so this is the current component of the rl circuit so as i have told you that the current can be shown current is required to be shown as lagging from the voltage okay so if we are taking the current as reference axis or in the x axis same is discussed above but if voltage is taken on the reference axis or the x axis then current is shown lagging like this okay angle remains same so if this is the case then the cos component is this i cos phi so this cos component is in phase with the voltage therefore it is called in phase component of the current and also since it is the contributing factor so what full it is in the x axis so it is also called the active component or the what full component and the perpendicular component is the wattless component of the current or reactive component of the current here we have discussed the reactive component as perpendicular okay next is the quality factors the quality factor is inverse of the power factor and since the power factor is r by z so quality factor becomes z by r and if the magnitude of r is less very less than the xl so it can also be replaced as xl upon r or you can say wl omega l upon r okay so now we will move on to rc circuit so the rc circuit will have r and c in series so here it is shown that the rms voltage is there now here what happens that if we talk of the phasor diagram we have taken current in x axis so now the current is leading in the pure capacitive circuit current is leading by 90 degrees but since here resistance is also there so it is leading but not leading by 90 degrees so it is leading by any angle phi as shown okay so now this is the you now you can see more clearly so next is this voltage triangle as i have explained in the rl circuit next is the impedance triangle same we have just explained so this voltage triangle pythagoras theorem is applied so v becomes vr square and vc square so but i have just as i have mentioned you earlier as well for precise representation this voltages are to be placed within mod and with the vector 
notation okay same is applicable for vr and vc as well okay so v becomes i z and angle can again be calculated from this triangle so tangent theta or tangent phi becomes vc upon vr that is xc i x c upon i r i i cancel out it becomes x c upon r and x c becomes 1 upon omega r c okay so the angle is tan inverse of this quantity power factor is r by z okay now we are required to calculate the instantaneous power so since here the current is leading the voltage at every point by phi angle so the instantaneous quantity of the current will become i m sin omega t plus pi okay so which is p is equal to vi is the instantaneous power so vi these values are substituted so 2 sin a sin b so again same formula of 2 sin a sin b is applied cos a minus b minus cos a plus b so it becomes cos phi minus cos 2 omega t plus phi now again when we are required to calculate the average value this second components this second component being the sinusoidal quantity sin theta and cos theta both are the sinusoidal quantity so if it is cos omega t or cos 2 omega t it's same all the same okay so for the full cycle the average value of this sinusoidal quantity will be zero and we are left with the same vi rms i rms cos phi okay so we can observe that the whether we are taking pure resistive pure inductive pure capacitive rl rc or now rlc we are going to take the average power remains same vi cos phi just we have to substitute the value of phi to get the results okay so now we will move on to rlc circuit before we move on to rlc circuit a uh, waveform of the rc circuit is pending okay so this is your homework you can do it yourself okay i will just drop a hint for you based on the rl circuit you can do the needful first of all you have to draw the xy plotting first of all draw the sine wave this is our instantaneous voltage okay so now we are required to draw the instantaneous current so instantaneous current is what i am sin omega t plus phi okay so say this is our phi this is our phi angle okay so it will have peak at 90 minus 5 okay it will have peak somewhere here okay and it will cross the reference axis here it will again peak somewhere here and end up here so these are our zero crossing points 
So if we begin with this. It will be some something like this. Okay. So this will be our I. This is our V. And now if you take the product of these things, these two, that is Vm, Im, sin omega t. So by substituting t is equal to zero, you will get the different values and the instantaneous power can be plotted. Okay. So let's move on to the RLC. So RLC is nothing but the series component of the R, L and C. Okay. So if the inductive component is more then the capacitive circuit, capacitive component, then it becomes the RL circuit. If the capacitive component is more than the inductive component, it becomes the RC circuit. And if the inductive component and the capacitive component are same, then the circuit is in resistance, resonance, and it becomes the pure resistive circuit okay so all these cases as a individually we have discussed earlier as well okay so just we are here using selectively nothing more than that okay first of all we can draw the circuit diagram waveform i am not drawing because waveform is again either similar to rl or it becomes similar to rc so this is the phasor diagram. In the phasor diagram, we are plotting VR and VL is plotted here, VC is plotted here. So if we are taking the case that the inductive component is more than the capacitive component. So the net resultant voltage becomes VL minus VC. So it is more or less a RL circuit, okay? And now we can calculate the magnitude. So magnitude of the voltage is VR square plus VL minus VC square. Again, using the parallelogram of vector addition, and the Pythagoras theorem, we will going to get this. And tangent theta is this. Angle is given, tangent theta can be calculated to get the value of the phi angle, okay? So if this phi is positive as shown here, so XL is more than XC, it means that it is inductive. Component is more, so it becomes RL. But if the phi is negative, if phi is negative, it means that the current is lagging the applied voltage. Sorry, current is leading. Current is leading, so it becomes RC circuit. Here, XL is less than the XC. Okay. Power factor is cos phi, which is R upon Z. It can be calculated from the impedance triangle or same this voltage phasor diagram as well. So the power consumed, instantaneous power is again VI. So either it becomes RL or RC. So it remains same as VI cos phi. Okay. So this is one of the numerical, small numerical, which we are going to do today. The rest we will do later. So here the 
we are required to calculate the current apparent power as real power p and reactive power q for the given circuit okay so what is given in this circuit we are given with the applied voltage so this applied voltage is 200 volts so if we are given 200 volts it means that this is the rms value make a note of it okay next is the resistance is given as 40 and inductance is given as this much henry so when inductance is given it can be calculated into xl xl is 2 pi fl okay so if this is known to us then voltage is same in parallel circuit so voltage upon xl gives 10 amperes of the current in il and in the resistance it is 200 upon 40 which is 5 okay so net current will be ir square plus il square okay because it is a parallel circuit okay so we are going to take this apparent power is vi direct application of the formulas v is known to us i which is the rms current which is known to us okay so we multiply it to get this and real power is either you can do vi cos phi or v into r because real power is the power across the resistive component so 200 into 5 and reactive component is 200 into 10 so we get the 2 kvar okay 